Hello, my name is Lisa McLaren, eResources Librarian at Bridgewater Community Healthcare Trust Library. This video is part of a series in library skills training videos for Bridgewater staff. Our last video looked at doing a basic search in the Cochrane Library, which is often all you need to do. However, if you're looking at a popular topic such as diabetes, then you might want to perform a more structured search. There are a lot of tools in the Cochrane Library to help you do this, although it may seem complicated at first, but this video will talk you through them all. So first of all, to get started, you want to click on Advanced Search, which is just underneath the main search box. And this takes you through to a page with three options. Um, the first one is simply called Search, and that allows you to build a search using your own keywords. You can add boxes in by using the plus and basically put all your concepts into different um, boxes and then hit Go, and that will run your search for you. The third tab is Medical Terms. And again, this is very much like using the subject thesaurus on NHS evidence. So if you're not sure about what you're looking for, simply start to type in your subject heading and look it up. And that will give you an idea of the medical subject heading that you want to use. And finally, the third box, which is in the middle, is Search Manager. And this is where you can put all your different search terms together and potentially save it if you want to. So hopefully as I start to put together this short search, you'll be able to see the potential of this feature. So I'm going to get started with my search. And I am going to look at diet therapy and obese patients with diabetes. And I'm going to use a combination of medical terms and also my own keywords just to give you an idea of the different ways you can build a search. So I'm going to start with a medical term. So I click on tab three and I'm going to enter diabetes here and look it up. Sometimes you get through to a page that doesn't look very great. So if you just refresh that. it will come up with the proper page and this can happen sometimes. So again, just refresh your database and it'll be fine. So you've got your phrases here. If you've got an exact term match, this will be at the top. And if you've got similar ideas, it'll be down here. So what I actually want is diabetes mellitus type two. So I'm gonna click on that. And you can see here, you've got 9,000 odd results. What you can do at this point is view those results if that's what you want to do, or you can add them to your search manager, and that's what I'm going to do just now. Start to build my search. Okay, so the next term I want to use is obesity. So I'm just going to put my own keyword in for that one. So I go back to the search menu, and I'm just going to type in obesity, and click go. You can see here the database will attempt to fill things in for you and give you an idea, so it's very helpful that way. So that's my second term. And again, you've got the option underneath the search box to add it to Search Manager. So that's what I'm going to do. And my final term is around diet therapy. And I'm not sure what the keyword is for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in diet into my medical terms, which is the third subject heading, and I'm going to look it up again. And again, it's gone to the wrong page. So I'll just refresh that. And I'm back to where I need to be. So just scroll down and diet therapy is actually heading. So I can choose that. And again, I've got about 4,000 results here and I want to add it to my search manager. So I'm now finished searching and it's automatically taking me to the middle tab, which is search manager. So what I want to do is start to combine my search together. So you see here, I've got my three lines and my fourth line I'm gonna to use to combine. So all you want to do is enter the numbers and separate them with and. It's important when you do this that you remember to put the hashtags in, otherwise there will be no results that come up. So I've got, getting a bit carried away there, I've got my three results, I've got my hashtags, I've separated them with and. So I'm looking at diabetes mellitus type two it'll be and obesity, and diet therapy. I'm just going to click, click go here. That's taken me down to 154 results from what was quite a high number before, almost 10,000. And if you click on that number, you get the option to have a look at those results. And again, as before in the Cochrane Library, it defaults to the Cochrane Reviews, but you can see here that there's some reviews, there's some trials, and there's also some economic evaluations. So I'll click on the economic evaluations. And again, if you want to see any of these, you simply click on the full text. And 
and you can see here your full text as as before and again you've got the option to look at different aspects of it again if you want so i'm back to my home page now and what i want to do is perhaps save my search so all you do is give your strategy name so i'm just say diabetes any comments you want to make such as the day you did the search and you can simply save the strategy in order to be able to save it, you have to set up an account with Wiley, who are the publishers of Coch Cochrane Library. However, this is quick and easy to do if you want to do it. So, as before, there's plenty of options for help on the, the Cochrane Library. And I would say if you're doing an advanced search, the help function is quite crucial. So again, simply click on Cochrane Library to get back to the home page. And help on the right hand side of the menu. And again, how to use the Cochrane Library, as in the last video. And you've got your reference guide here and your webinars, which can be really helpful when you're trying to get to grips with the advanced search for the first few times. But don't worry, it does get easier. If you're still not sure or you'd like some face to face training, then please get in touch with the library at library.bridgewater.nhs.uk or you can give us a phone on 01942 489. We run training sessions on the Cochrane Library on a regular basis and we'd be happy to come out and assist you at any time. Thank you for watching.